pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. And thank Alana for the beautiful singing and just to welcome you to Mass uh, this evening on a wild evening here in Kilmala. Just a uh, quick announcement, uh, a happy, happy birthday to Dolly O'Neill who is 98 today. Imagine 98. Happy birthday, Dolly. And then to my sister, Kat, sister and best friend, so we send out a uh, happy birthday to Kat. Uh, and a thank you, a big thank you to the Barrett family. So uh, we start, as always, by, by lighting a candle. And again, we, we wish you well and we think of you as we do this. And feel free to do it at home. And we pray, we light a candle. And suddenly around the world around us changes. One small flame is all it takes to let the darkness know that it cannot win. So we place that candle uh, by Dahi's family picture and we pray that we will always try and put light into tri particularly tricky times. So uh, what we, we, we begin Mass as always by letting go. I can't, I've just got a message from my little music player that's battered but works, it's great, saying no battering so I better get to the readings quickly. <laughs> Because we have made, I may have to sing if this uh, stops working now. Anyway, so we start by letting go of our faults and failings. So for the times, Lord, we, we've been held back by our fears and anxieties. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times we were discouraged and lose heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times we haven't given courage and encouraged others. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And so, may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. So that's what we're here to do, to pray. So just for a moment in the silence, uh, think of what person or prayer you want to give to God in this evening's Mass. And in the silence, we bring our prayers together. And so we give you and we give your prayers to God. And what we do is we pray, offer this Mass for a lot of people. Today is in the Dillon's first anniversary. Our husband was Barrett, he used to be a sacristan in St. Mary. So we think of Una and Barrett and their families, particularly first anniversaries can be lonely. Also, it's the anniversary time of, of Jackie O'Brien. Mr. Hulin in Granite. We think of Albert Burke's, and it's also Albert Burke's first anniversary. So we think of his wife Fiona and the family again for a first anniversary. We think of Carmen Tracy, whose anniversary is Patrick Connery and the deceased members of the Connery family. We think of Ida Maddie on her anniversary. We think of Tommy Sheen on his. We remember Paddy Fitzgerald and Christina over in Shepherd's Bush. You mentioned him. From here at his anniversary, and we, we think of Charlie Hennessy again, just mentioned in the rosary, and uh, we remember him on his anniversary. We think of Father uh, Father Paddy Kilcoyne, who died during the week, as in Garden of Orkin. So we bring all these people to God. Then we bring the sick, those we were praying for, and uh, those uh, family members who were unwell. So we give it all to God as we pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive us of your guidance. Those you set firm on the foundation of love, you guide throughout life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So our first reading, uh, thanks to Dermot Dwan for sending it in. So we'll play the readings now. First reading, you have deserted the Lord, now he deserts you. After the death of Jehoiada, officials of Judah came to pay court to the king, and the king now turned to them for advice. The Judeans abandoned the temple of the Lord, the God of their ancestors, for the worship of sacred poles and idols. Because of their guilt, God's anger fell on Judah and Jerusalem. He sent them prophets to bring them back to the Lord, but when these gave their message, they would not listen. The Spirit of God took possession of Zechariah, son of Jehoiada, the priest. He stood up before the people and said, God says this, Why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord 
to no good purpose. You have deserted the Lord, now he deserts you. They then plotted against him, and by order of the king, stoned him in the court of the temple of the Lord. King Josa, for forgetful of the kindness of Jehoiada, the father of Zechariah, had shown him, killed the Jehoiada's son, who cried out as he died. The Lord sees, and he will avenge. When the year had gone by, the Armenian army made war on Josh. They reached Judah and Jerusalem, and executed all the officials among the people, sending them to the king at Damascus, all they had plundered from them. Through the Armenian army had by no means come in force. The Lord delivered into its power an army of great size for having deserted him, the God of their ancestors. The Armenians treated Josh as he had deserved, and when they retired they left him a very sick man, and his death of the son of Jehoiada, the priest, murdered him in his bed. So he died, and they buried him in the citadel of David, though not in the tombs of the kings. This is the word of the Lord. Response to Oriel Sam. The response is, I will keep my love for him always. With my chosen one, I have made a covenant. I have sworn to David, my servant, I will establish your dynasty forever, and set up your throne through all ages. I will keep my love for him always. I will keep my love for him always. With him, my covenant shall last. I will establish his dynasty forever, make his throne endure as the heavens. I will keep my love for him always. If his sons forsake my law and refuse to walk as I decree, and if ever they violate my statutes, refusing to keep my commandments, then I will punish their offences with the rod. Then I will scourge them on account of their guilt. I will keep my love for him always. But I will never take back my love, my truth will never fail. I will keep my love for him always. C grade would secure a good result, it would have gotten them through. 
an A grade would get them a scholarship. And on arrival, the professor told them that because they were such a good class, he was going to give a seat to anyone who wanted it, and they could leave there and then. They were thrilled because they'd been so worried about the exam. So the students thought about it. The C guaranteed them the good result they needed. And if the test was really hard, they might struggle to get a C, not to mind a scholarship. And so most students jumped at the opportunity, thanked the professor and left thrilled. Only a few decided to sit the test. When they turned over their papers to begin, much to their surprise, on the top of each of their papers was the line, Congratulations for believing in yourselves. You have received an A. So, the lecture taught them a very valuable lesson. The first students, because of their fear and anxiety and doubts, they may have been as capable as the rest, but their fears held them back so they grabbed the scene with both hands. They were thrilled. However, the others believed in themselves, and so they were more willing to give it a go, and they were rewarded with an A. So the story teaches an important truth. Let's not be held back by our fears and anxiety. If there's anything more than contagious at the moment than a virus, it's fear and anxiety and worry. They're hard habits to break. We kind of learn them from our mother's knee as such. And yet, I suppose I often give myself grief because when I worry about something, I'm kind of going, does that mean I'm not trusting God? I'm kind of not handing it over. So I suppose that story reminds us, look, don't, don't let your, your decisions and your life be guided by fear and anxiety. Don't settle for less than you can be. Don't be held back by your fears or by what people think of you. It's always worth believing in yourself. And I suppose if you were to reflect on that message of the Gospel, like Jesus said, look at the sparrows. You can buy two of them for a penny. And yet God knows the sparrows and, you know, laments the loss of the sparrow. And he says, you are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So today is about thinking about our self-worth. And God saying to him, you are worth more than hundreds of sparrows because you're created in my image. And obviously that can't be a physical thing because we're all so different. However, there clearly must be a part of each of us that is exactly the same. A part of each of us that is divine. A part of each of us that's really our true essence. And it's through this part that we're connected to others, connected to our true self, connected to God. So, what I'd say is, like, we do tend to doubt ourselves, sadly, and then we do tend to settle for too little. So maybe tonight's gospel that says twice, do not be afraid, it's encouraging us to believe in the beauty of your dreams for yourself and don't stop dreaming. Being created in the image of God doesn't make life easy, but does it reassure us that there's a divine spark within us that can sustain us and bring us through anything as long as we nourish it and give it air to breathe. So don't look beyond yourself for God or for answers and meanings. Look within yourself. Through prayer and reflection, you'll grow in your sense of God, a God who accepts and loves you unconditionally and says you are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So today, we remember the students, the students who settled for the sea grade. Trust in your worth, your value, your potential. Don't dwell on your failings or your weaknesses. Don't dwell on your fears. You're made in God's image on purpose and for a purpose. Don't look beyond yourself to find God. Look inside yourself. And there you will find your purpose and meaning. And from there you can and will become a light to the world. So we bring our prayers to God and we pray for the church at the moment. We pray it's a difficult time and we've had meetings about reopening the church uh, and measuring out the church and I have to take measure out and uh, sneakily I kind of enjoy those sort of things but that's fine and I was like we've gone from going God we could fit safely two meters apart 
up to maybe 150 in a church this size. And then last night's message says 50. So now we're, we're wondering, does that mean in church or whatever? So anyway, it's tricky times because now we're going, would it be worth reopening our churches? Because while 50 would get in, so many would be left out. So I don't know, big decisions. So we pray and pray and help and offer wisdom that we'll make the right decisions. Obviously every decision we make will be about safety and doing things right. But uh, we pray that when it comes to open the church, particularly in light of what was said last night in the Tishan, we just pray that the Spirit will guide us to do the best thing. Uh, and that may vary from parish to parish, it may vary from church to church. Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. The constant message in the Gospel is do not be afraid. It's there twice tonight. So we pray for people who are, are worried and anxious and scared. We pray for people who are anxious for those who are sick. We pray for the grace to, to, to trust that we have a spirit of courage in us. And we pray that our fears and our anxieties won't hold us back. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember those who are sick. We're thinking of so many. We have Dahi's picture here. And there's a, a Rachel beside him in the bed, in, in a bed beside him in, in Dublin Hospital in Temple Street. We think of, we've been praying for those with the virus, Mike and DJ. We've been praying for family members all over the world. So many people with cancer at the moment. And even children we've been praying for. Aaron and baby Darian and baby uh, Margot and baby Shaney and Ava. So there's lots we're praying for who are sick. So we ask God to let the warmth and strength of his healing love touch and lift their hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace and hear us. We pray for their families. It is so hard as a family to be ringing every day to try and find out how someone is and not know for yourself how they really are. So it's hard for families at the moment. So we pray uh, that families will get the comfort and the grace that they need at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace and hear us. We pray for people who are finding this whole experience very tough. Uh, we pray, like, where, I suppose, health and mental well-being and stuff uh, could become a, more of an issue. Uh, we pray for families who are living at close quarters and finding it difficult. We pray for people who've lost jobs or worried financially. There's a lot. So we ask God to draw close to those who feel a little at sea. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That story where those youngsters decided to sit the paper, they backed themselves. So let's back ourselves, let's believe in ourselves, and let's not doubt ourselves, and dream the dreams that we need to dream, and be the people that we could be if we'd left off the shackles. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we remember our dead. We remember at this time those we have uh, Albert Burke, it's his first anniversary. So we think of Albert, we think of his wife Fiona. We think of Una Dillon on her first anniversary and her poor husband, the late husband Bart, who's also gone to Cal. We pray for Jackie O'Brien and, and Mr. Hulin and Carmel Tracy. We think of Patrick Connery and the deceased members of the Connery family. We think of Ida Madigan and Tommy Sheehy. We think of Paddy Fitzgerald and Charlie Hennessy. We think of Father Paddy Kilcoyne who died during the week, and Garda Horkin and his family. So we remember those who've gone for us. We miss them, but we know their love is with us, and we trust that as we pray. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. And so we pray, blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, bread we offer you, it's the fruit of the earth, and work of you in hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. The Lord, by the absolute mystery of this water and life, and the truth to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, watch the way of our Lord. And 
So we pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. And so we pray. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its actions we may make an offering of a, make an offering of a heart pleasing to you. And we ask that through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It's our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and Creator God. For you have given us Jesus, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your children. And so, with all the angels and saints, with one voice, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You're the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of him. mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brendan, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. And so we pray in the words Jesus gave us. And this weekend, it's, it's Father's Day tomorrow, so we think of fathers, fathers who have gone before us, fathers who thankfully are still with us and whenever a mother or father lives their vocation well they give us a glimpse into the love that is God so conscious of that in gratitude for fathers both present and gone before us we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. We pray for peace particularly in families where there's difficulty or differences, or 
parts of the world where they're struggling. We think of what's going on in America. We think of Garda Horton's family as a, a guardian of peace, a guardian of Shia Khan and, and all that happened. So we pray for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may that peace of the Lord, may it be with you always and with your spirit. And so we pray for peace for each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And so we pray, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the one who says, do not be afraid. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to those who receive it. So we enter into spiritual communion with ourselves, with God, with others, and those gone before us that we remember today. So thanks very much for being with us. I hope the wind and the rain didn't affect the signal. That can happen sometimes. Um, just the announcements we're going to be, we'll be aiming towards reopening. And to reopen any churches, we would need volunteers if the parish would like to be reopened. And that would be 
volunteer cleaners, uh, volunteer stewards. But as I say, last night kind of was but a little cat amongst the pigeons as such, because now there's a whole other question. But anyway, keep that in mind. The other announcement is Seamus Maloney locally has very kindly and generously offered to paint the railings of the church. Um, not in this weather, I hope, Seamus, God help you. But if there's any volunteers or if there's men in your life you want to kind of get out of the house like most people at the moment, God, God, I need to get him out of the house before we kill each other. Anyway, uh, on Wednesday evening, uh, they, there may be a start being made on that. I think there was, uh, can't remember the time, but uh, you could come along with an old wire brush and socially distant, do some wire brushing and painting, but Seamus will guide you through that. So they're, they're just the announcements that I, I know of. I think that's all the announcements. Anyway, I'll remember something when this is over, don't we? Look, thanks for being with us. I hope you have a good evening. And more importantly now, we pray, the Lord be with you all and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and keep us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. We'll go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. And the iPod is still working, alleluia, alleluia, so you'll get a closing hymn, whether you want it or not, you'll get it. No, oops. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Cancel. No, please, God. Take care. you stay safe and stay well and god bless oh my god you don't need glory land sorry uh, stay safe stay well and god bless thanks for being with us <laughs>